What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Phil from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. Welcome. Yes, another Dilla Technique is here. It's still Dilla Month, so I got to do it. So let's get into it. Real quick, guys, what is the first track that comes to mind when you think about Jay Dilla? I'm curious to know. I know that might be kind of difficult for some of you <laughs> because his just repertoire is just bananas. It just goes on and on and on. But if you could think of one, the very first thing that pops up in your brain as far as beats go, when you hear the name Jay Dilla, what is that track? Write it down in the comments. For me, it's Stakes is High, point blank. And speaking of Stakes is High, that brings us to the technique. We're going to use the filtering technique. And I know a lot of y'all know this already, but some of you may not. Let's listen to Stakes is High off of the De La Soul joint, Stakes is High. That's the album, Stakes is High. Let's listen real quick. I want y'all to pay attention. Hear the difference? The sample just got filtered. Let me play it back one more time and you'll hear the difference. The main sample with the horns. Nice and clear up in your face. Now watch this. It's lowered, it's filtered. That's during the part where they rap it. This is an instrumental version, by the way. That's a sick technique. A lot of cats do it. A lot of cats do it. But I just love the way Dilla use it in this, in this instance. So, I'm messing with a beat. And here is the concept that I want you guys to get. I have a sample right here. I plan on copying it. I actually already did it. I copied this sample onto another pad. I got two samples actually. This row sample and then this string sample. Right? So I copied both of these samples. So I got one here. Copied it here. Right? Then I got the string sample and also copied it here. So both both of these uh, pads right here are the same sample. Hey, right? So what you gonna do, my phone is ringing, but I gotta get to it later. <laughs> so what you gonna do is for each copy, you're gonna filter it, plain and simple. Go to your parameters. And I'm gonna change my frequency to about 10. I'm gonna I'm really cut off those high, those highs. I'm gonna bring it all the way down to 10, just, just for me. You do whatever you want to. You can do this on your, your DAW software, whatever. Just go to your EQ and turn them highs down, you know. Filter it. Use a low pass filter because the low pass is and you cut off the highs. Same thing with this second sample. I'm gonna bring you down. I'm gonna bring the copy down to about. Let's try that, about 20. And this is trial and error, guys. Trial and error, you, you do whatever you wanna do, right? So let's play with the beat. I want to filter it. See what I'm saying? You 
See what I'm saying? Back to the main hook or whatever you want to do. Let's add a bass sound to this. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's filtered. <laughs> Bring back the original. Simple technique. <laughs> Dilla month. So do me a favor, guys. Hit that thumbs up if you're feeling the video. Hit the thumbs down if you're not feeling it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you will get notified each time that I upload a new video. Come check out the website, more content, get your free drum kit, more videos to come. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate all the support I've been getting. Peace. I'll see y'all in the next one.